So, a lot of times when we see information in the media, we used to, I'm not going to say we still do, we used to assume this information is true. But I remember seeing or reading somewhere that Putin or Russia is running out of weapons and um, resources for the war. Well, I don't know how true that might be. Because I also had seen a video of Russia, the same Russia they said is running out, supplying weapons to West African countries. I think that was Burkina Faso and Mali. They supply choppers, they supply like fighting weapons for cars and stuff like that. And now Russia is also launching two more submarines to their fleet. And this is two from a total of eight that they'll be launching. It's something that you should see. I thought I should bring it to the channel. Let's get to it. And the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, traveled to a shipyard to attend the commissioning of two new nuclear submarines. A visit that showcases countries in nuclear might and the fighting in Ukraine. Well, Putin, who promised to reinforce Russia's military naval might, traveled to the northern city of Stredonvinsk to view the vessels. The emperor... I love the way Putin works. <laughs> I love the way he walks. <laughs> I just had to say it. I'm sorry. Of Stredonvinsk to view the vessels. The Emperor Alexander III and Krasnoyarsk. The Russian leader also took part in a flag hoisting ceremony there at the Semwash shipbuilding yard. Where they were built over the past six years, the two Navy vessels that we are talking about here. The two submarines are due to join Russia's Pacific fleet soon. Уже в скором времени подводные ракетоносцы император Александр III и Красноярск начнут нести вахту на Тихоокеанском флоте, охранять дальневосточные рубежи Отечества. Работа по повышению военно-морской мощи России, безусловно, будет продолжена. The Emperor Alexander III will be a part of Russia's new Boray class of nuclear submarines. The first new generation of nuclear submarine it has launched since the Cold War. Moreover, last month, the Russian... So, it is not just a submarine, it's a nuclear submarine that is capable of intercontinental targets. I'll take you back. Listen again. ...it has launched since the Cold War. Moreover, last month, the Russian Defense Ministry said that the vessel had successfully tested a nuclear-capable Bulawa intercontinental ballistic missile. А с этого дня и император Александр III долгие годы будут надежно защищать безопасность России, выполнять задачи по обеспечению стратегического сдерживания. Каждый из них вооружен межконтинентальными баллистическими ракетами Булава. Meanwhile, the Krasnoyarsk belongs to the Yasin class of multi-purpose submarines. It is equipped with long-range, high-precision missiles that Putin says can strike both sea and land targets. In addition to these two vessels, which will join the Pacific Fleet, Russia is also building eight nuclear submarines. And with the fighting in Ukraine now approaching its second year mark, Russia has shifted its economy to largely focusing on military production. So they are not running out. They focus the economy to military production. Simple and straight to the point. They are not running out of military equipment. Russia, when Vladimir Putin, I saw in a video the other time, he was rated the second most powerful man in the world next to Xi Jinping. And we've seen the influence. You know, Russia previously, people were testing them. It's like Western communities wanted to see how much power they might have or how far they are willing to go. So they tested Russia and they've been able to hold their own. Russia is not a weak country. I've said this multiple times. Russia is not a weak country. They, they have what it takes. В ближайшие годы в рамках государственной программы вооружения только со степелей легендарного Сивмаша должны быть спущены на воду и переданы военно-морскому флоту еще три стратегических ракетоносца класса Бари-А. 
одновременно строятся 5 подводных лодок класса Ясень-М. В том числе на завершающем этапе находится атомный крейсер Архангельск. Okay, let me know what you think about that one. Um, I, I think there's something we had seen in Uganda. Russia helped. I don't know if this was speculative, but I'd read somewhere that Russia is helping Uganda or has helped Uganda build their first nuclear weapon. So now this Russia is now working with other countries to give them enough defense power. So yeah, if they are helping other countries, it means you know, they are good on their own. They can, you know, stand on their own and hold their own. They're also partnering with North Korea. Um, the North Korean leader had visited Russia. And I think they are partnering in a, is it a drone system or something like that? My point is, if your knowledge or your technique is for Russia to run out so you can defeat Russia, it might not be a very good technique because it doesn't seem like they are running out. I'm just stating that. I'm not speaking about any kind of war, don't get me wrong. I don't want war of any kind. But I'm just saying, understand or at least read all these things and keep it at the back of your mind. You know, don't let people lie to you on the media. I'm not here to tell you this is the truth or this is the fact. Just this is an information. Keep this at the back of your mind when you're seeing other information out there. Well, it's the end of this video. Smash the like button, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.